aka it's nicole l gadson back with another power wower so we finished exodus and leviticus has not cited any women in my book so we go right over to numbers to miriam so i don't know if y'all remember miriam but miriam is moses's big sister she's the one who the mom said follow these instructions so we can make sure moses reaches his destiny if you remember back in exodus when you know all this stuff happened so moses you know met his destiny and everything because his sister miriam did what the mother told him put him in the basket put him in the river he was found by pharaoh's daughter and so on and so forth let's read what they talking about about miriam so she was the daughter of amram and jock bed the sister of aaron and moses okay and i already told you about what happened with the mother and what happened with pharaoh's daughter in exodus 2 you can go back and read that exodus 2 and 7 okay and years later when moses fled egypt he married a woman um named sephora the daughter of jethro and he was jethro was a high priest okay and so so sometime later miriam and aaron criticized joseph because of his Cushite wife. You can go back and read it, Norm Numbers 12. That's when they go into Miriam. And we are not certain if Sephora is to be identified as this woman that Miriam and Aaron was talking about. But based on the information that we've been given, it's assumed that she's the one that they're talking about. Um. So they kept criticizing him. Oh, you didn't marry this woman. You didn't marry this woman. And in addition to their criticism related to Moses' wife, me and Aaron, they questioned um, Moses all the time. Like, um, why do you have a sole right to talk to God and on behalf of the people? Who are you? That you get to talk to God face to face. You get to see him. Everybody else got to get these riddles and these dreams and things like that. But you, you get to see him face to face. Why, why are you so special? So they jealous. They in the meeting going bad on Moses, okay? He didn't got the people out of Egypt and everything. And they still going bad on Moses, okay? So... This lady was so vexed with a jealousy spirit. She fell with leprosy. Go read it. It's in Numbers 12. This lady got leprosy. God gave her leprosy. He got so tired of her mouth and her jealousy. This lady had leprosy. She had to be put out the camp for seven days. The group couldn't. The group that he, Moses got out of Egypt couldn't move on because she had leprosy. And God was like, seven days. Uh-uh. Seven days. No, you want to talk all that mess? Seven days. You sit outside looking like a stillborn baby out of his mother. Okay? It says, the spirit of Miriam is alive and well in many women today. We daily suffer physical and spiritual calamities as a result of the deeply rooted jealousies that we harbor as women. Okay? It is jealousy that creates criticism and envy of our friends, loved ones, and even strangers, okay? Jealousy makes you envy and criticize your loved ones, your friends, and even strangers. Jealousy and the actions that result from it are not of God. So if you're jealous and you criticize and then you envious and you're like, mm, 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 shoes, I wouldn't have got them in blue, I would have got them in purple. That's what they talking about. They cute though, anyway. So then, how do we thwart or control jealousy? How do we prevent ourselves from suffering Miriam's, Miriam's plight? We must be reborn each day and seek God in everything and in every action, everything we say, everything we do. We need to go to God and have a conversation with him about it. 
And that's what I've been working on for the last couple of weeks. So for God to bring me to this part of the word, when that's what I've been working on. I like how my God works, okay? Because every day I've been seeking new mercies for me and people who have done things against me. I wish everybody the best. We need to pray, okay? Without ceasing, pray to him for strength to be spirit-minded, Christ-centered, and God directed in our homes, workplaces, community, and most of all, our churches. We need to seek God and we need to talk to him and we need to ask him, what is it he want us to say? What is it that he want us to do? And a reflection for you, do you sometimes struggle with jealousy and criticism? Ask yourself that. And do I criticize people? What's my motive behind the criticism? Ask God to receive glory for your life as he deals with you. And that's all I've been asking. Deal with me, God. Deal with me gracefully, though. Because I have some ways that need to be dealt with gracefully because they are trifling. I am not exempt. I have done some trifling stuff. And I've asked him to deal with me gently. I've been gracefully broken and I appreciate it very much so. So as I'm getting over and loosing the jealous spirit out of my life and the envy spirit and the criticism spirit, I'm learning to speak to people in love and not critically. I'm giving direction and constructive criticism, not saying, ooh, mm, you shouldn't have given an example of don't wear your hair like that to certain places because certain places won't receive you with your hair like that. Like if you go to a job interview, your hair shouldn't be all over your head or anything, it should be professionally tied back or up. Different places, different things, different behaviors, and we need to learn as people to do that. You can't just be everywhere in your pajamas. You can't go to an appointment dirty and expect to be respected, okay? And then get jealous because somebody else came appropriately, okay? So let's check ourselves before we wreck ourselves. Don't be plagued by jealousy like Miriam. Girl, you are very, Miriam was a very big part of the destiny of the people. Has she said, I'm not going to put that little ugly baby in the basket. When my mom told me to, so that he could get to Pharaoh's daughter, so she could raise him in royalty like her son, so he could grow up and free his people and get them out of bondage into the promised land. You got to be wise. I love you. Appreciate you. I see the views. I see the views. That's why I keep making these videos. But God has transitioned me to an administrative position. Yay. So I'll make them as often as I can now. It probably won't be seven minutes on seven anymore. It just be power hour. Um, just stay tuned for the day. I'll give you guys a heads up. Take care. Have a good day. Bye.